Look at this. No, not that. This. This effect, where one part of the picture stays the same size and the rest of the picture moves towards or away, is called a dolly zoom. Though it is also known as a contra zoom, triple reverse zoom, vertigo zoom, Hitchcock zoom, a trombone effect, a zydo, a zolly, a stretch shot, forward zoom with reverse tracking, telescoping, zoom in and dolly out, a trans trav if you're Romanian, reverse pull, or Hitchcock's trombone. There are many different ways of achieving this shot, but they all rely on the same basic principle. The camera zooms while moving in the opposite direction. Either the camera moves forward while zooming out, or moves away while zooming in. There's one variation to this, in which it's the subject that moves away from or towards the camera, and the camera stays still and zooms. Here's what that looks like zooming in and zooming out. The smoother your camera movement and the more even your zoom, the better the shot will look. Big budget productions achieve it with a dolly, track and focus puller, but if this isn't an option, here are a couple of alternatives. One, handheld. Because moving the camera while zooming and focusing all at the same time is pretty hard to pull off, here's how you can get a better result using what we call the 10 second Steadicam. If you've got a tripod, just raise it up a bit, enough to get your hand round like that, and then lift it up, put in the legs, and the legs act as a counterweight to the camera as you hold it, and it's a very quick and dirty way of uh, walking around with the camera a little bit steadier than just holding the camera by itself. It's, in no way is this a substitute for a proper steady cam or a proper rig, but um, if you're out and about and you suddenly need to go legless, then this is uh, one way of doing it. Another thing is, bend your legs as you walk, do a little Groucho Marx kind of walk, and uh, you'll find that you're, it'll dampen down some of the, uh, some of the vibrations. Two, using a bike. If you've got one of these, this is a good investment. It's got a magic arm, clamps to anything, in this case a bicycle, and uh, it's got a camera mount here. If you don't have one of these, you could try gaffer taping a tripod to a bike, see what happens. Can't guarantee that's gonna work very well, but <sighs> once you get it about in the right position, you simply pull this handle and it locks. And there you have your camera, mounted bike. You can even ride and ride the bike with it. Film your journey. If you think it was hard doing it on foot, dolly zooms while riding a bike are a bitch. However, if you push it instead, it looks a lot better. As we found out by accident, bike mounted cameras can be dramatically tilted during the dolly zoom narrow corridors, tunnels and alleyways are great places for dolly zooms. You can get some nice tracking shots if you use a car. And uh, to mount the camera in a car, this is a nice bit of kit to have. It's a headrest bracket where it's got these sliding bits here and they go over the metal bars that go on the back of a car seat headrest. And then you secure them using uh, these plates and screws here. So it goes like that. And then the camera screws nicely onto this mount here and it provides a very stable place for the camera to sit. An interesting effect of zooming out within a car that's moving forward is that of the car not appearing to move at all, except when it jumps into frame at the end of the zoom, like this. When the car is reversing and camera is zooming forward, there's a sense of the camera itself being the one tracking forward. Finally, you could try faking it. Film your actor making his reaction shot in front of an easily keyable background such as a white sky, and then film some zooms to make your background. Put them together and voila! You can also fake it by making your zoom a digital zoom by expanding or shrinking the picture. Although this will reduce your picture resolution, if you use a high def camera and your audience is easily impressed, you might just get away with it.